Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today I'm bringing you guys some gameplay up against the Orlando Magic. We are at home, but I wanted to tell you guys that I changed something up. I am no longer number 99. I have changed my number to number zero. I am now Agent Zero. Shout out to the boy from the Washington Wizards, Mr. Gilbert Arenas. I took his number on just because I wanted to challenge myself today. And today, guess what? I'm not going to be scoring any points. It's going to be dropping dimes all game long. Let's hop into this game. Y'all ready? All right, you guys. My assignment is Alfred Payton. I'm going to be probably going up against him most of the game. Now, you guys already know what type of player I am, man. Defensive-minded, beast, monster, you know, the regular shit. But check it out. Alfred Payton is going to try to test me on my first play of the game. Yeah, he's going to try to test me. He like the little backdoor cut, but we're going to go ahead and lay the smack down on that layup, but the ball does fall into Gordon Hansey, he gets the shot to go. But the coach is kind of figuring out if he should have put me in because as soon as I get in, they score. Yeah, we're probably gonna have this problem all game long. All right, so I know what type of game plan Orlando's gonna go with. They're gonna try to feed the post just like I'm gonna do. Now Vucevic, he could have made that little fade away, but it didn't go down the way he thought it was. So Rowan goes down on the break thinks about it realizes you know what i don't got an open lane and you know what it is man your boy's gonna get this assist right here nice little pick and roll with noel noel shoots the ugliest jump shot in the world and it goes in off the bank you gotta love it now it looks like my team is still welcoming these guys to the block party because it's going down they hit me on a fast break but i hit me with the little okie doke rowan comes in with a pull-up jumper over two defenders what in the world was he thinking luckily noel was there to clean up the mess all right, so on this play, they're going to play a little bit of keep away with King Carter. So they notice that I'm not producing the ball, and they're not going to really pass it to me when I call for it much. So I'm just going to set some screens, play a little bit of keep away. Luckily, I don't have to play hot potato with these fools. Now, they hit Noel in the post. Noel is going off right now. Off right now. The better you play on defense, the better your team plays on defense. Jakar Sampson is literally everywhere in this play. He called the double team with me, got in defensive position, went in a one-on-one -on -one situation, got the cookies, runs the floor, catches the pass, and gets an and one layup to go. What? Where's this dude's stamina bar? We, we got to question that. He was everywhere on that play everywhere there was not a place on that court he was not it was insane and guess what he does hits it from the lot come on bruh but you know what roll the tape just roll the tape we sat down with freak to discuss how he's handling the loss of his close friend <sighs> you know fake was my brother Blood couldn't have made us any closer. And um, everything feels like it just happened yesterday. So I'm, um, I'm just trying to take things one day at a time, you know. I'm very grateful for my family, my teammates and coaches for supporting me during this difficult season. Um, I miss Vic, but uh, I'll press on. Yeah. That was very heartfelt and everything, but we need to get back to this gameplay. So, did I tell you guys that I got some of the best power forwards and centers in the league right now on my team? I don't think y'all understand what's really going down. I know I only got four assists, but things are going to change. Things are about to turn up right here, right now. Got him B cut into the basket, and oh my, ooh, don't hurt him now. Don't hurt him in B. I'm just saying, y'all, things are about to go crazy in this arena man i'm telling y'all right now having mb noel and okafor on my team we really can't be struck and i'm telling y'all now landry he's not a slouch like he really be doing these post moves but they give me the ball with a couple seconds left and i hit the cutter to the basket robert covington with the layup look the Sixers are not a bad team. I know a lot of people are going to say we're ass and this and that. But as long as you're a point guard and you're running this team, they are pretty dope. Now, I did get them with the pump fake, hit Okafor, and Okafor hits the jump shot. That was a perfect play setup right there with giving me the ball. And I didn't think that we were going to fall for the pump fake. Who would have known that a dude with zero points would actually get people to jump when he pump fakes? But you can't count the magic out. I know a lot of people want to see some clips from the magic. They 
want to see them score. They want to see the seesaw. Well, guess what? The seesaw is about to be over because we're going to go back up 10. We not playing with this team. It's going to be a double digit lead, a double digit win, and we just going to make it happen. Look at this. Okafor in the paint, in the post. Oh my God. Yo, um, yo, y'all don't understand. Like, real rap, not gonna lie, I low key want to create a power forward or a center just to do some of the moves these dudes are doing. Now, I know I probably won't be able to, you know, make it happen to perfection like they doing, but you know what I can do, though? I can get these cookies out here and look at me baiting in two defenders and letting Roten get the layup. Yo, y'all thought I was really gonna score, didn't y'all? It's Agent Zero. Come on, man. Agent Zero is here. I can't I can't score. Maybe next game, I might even just not get any assists. I might just drop a hundred. Why not? Why not? But I hit my man Samson. I'm waiting for the pass back. Now, as I scan the defense, I notice we have Embiid in the game. And guess what Embiid's gonna do? He's gonna cut, he's gonna pull up, and he's gonna knock it. Look, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand, the spacing for these pick and rolls are insane on this game, man. I'm telling y'all. But check it out. I want to talk to y'all for a minute, man. I got a lot going on. And I noticed the Sixers dancers got a lot going on. But the Sixers dancers in real life aren't these group of chicks here. And I don't think they wear those colors. You know what? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe they don't wear the team colors. Maybe they do wear Celtics green and gold and white. I don't know. Uh, who knows? But yeah, man, check it out. I have a couple more videos coming for you guys until David Ipod King Carter goes bald. <laughs> yeah, man, um, I'm going to give you guys a nice little story on line on why he went bald and what actually happened. It's going to be a, it's going to be very stressful. Trust and believe that. But uh, it's time to hop back into this gameplay. I know what y'all want. Y'all want to see if Apa actually took a shot, if Apa actually scored, or is he just trolling us? Leave your comments below. Now, there is one player that did not give up no matter what the score was. Vucevic, yo, I promise you, yo, he is a beast. I would love to have him as one of our four centers on our team, I'm just saying. But I don't know why I got 2,500 points there. Maybe it was like good defense or something. Who knows, man? 2K has really been very big with what you get these accomplishments for. But it's okay. I know y'all see the dribble moves. Y'all think a crossover coming? Nah, man, I'm going to go ahead and cut to this next clip. See, I know y'all wanted a crossover, but nothing really happened that play. Nothing happened at all. But guess what's going to happen this play? We going to drop another dime. We going to drop another dime. Let's go. Setting it up. Slowing things down. I noticed that we got the little post-up gimmick going. And I told y'all about Landry earlier in the video. Y'all thought I was lying. Look at him. Mm, cashing. Cashing out here. Y'all thought I was playing about my power forwards and centers, man. Listen, if you're struggling on your teams, if you got... A star, if you're 88 overall or more, whatever, it don't matter. And you can't win these games, go to the post. Go to the post. I cannot be any more clear. Go to the post because it's overpowered. A lot of people are mad about the centers and the power forward speeds, the small forwards height cap, the how slow they are. I'm going to tell you now, if you're tall, you got a lot going on because we still can add ones out here. Landry is getting in ones out here in these streets. Come on, man. Y'all gotta y'all gotta keep up with me, man. Keep up with me. If you're tall, you're winning. It's still the same as last year. If you're tall, you are winning. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. All right. Now I know you guys did take a look at that clock when he took that shot. The game is winding down. And I will like to say, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, new videos will be dropping as soon as possible. By the way, what do y'all think about the post? Like, leave your comments below. Seriously, I want to know what you guys actually think about 2K16 this year. I've been playing, you know, gradually. I haven't been playing that much online, but I've been playing plenty of my career. And so far, I just like how slow the game is because it stops people from actually cheesing as well as it lets you see the floor much better. Like, you know, last year the game was so fast and you couldn't really get a grasp on things but this year just slow the game down as long as you slow the game down you can win games period but this is agent zero signing out i'm gonna holla at you guys in the next video the 2k sports post game show thank you kevin and now we get a chance to present our jordan player of the game freak he knew he had this sort of game in him.
but tonight he showed all the rest of us he could do it. Maybe this is the start of a bright new chapter for him. Just an amazing impact he had in this game. After not even being in the starting lineup, he's the other Ernie, and the crowd was loving it. They really enjoyed his style of play. He's going to continue to create more and more new fans for himself. I'm sure of that. How about the show Freak was putting on tonight? It was a freak show. That's one of the smartest basketball players I've ever seen. Being able to use either hand and being as skilled as he is poses so many problems out there. But as modest as he is, he's not going to gloat even though he's having a great performance. He's going to just go right back out there, get to work for the next game. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night. Yeah.